Hello friends, in today's class we will see the next chapter that is rational numbers. Now, what do you mean by a rational number? A rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So that is the definition for rational numbers. Now, let us take a rational number 3 and 5. Now, 3 by 5. We call 3 by 5 as a rational number. Why? Because the integers 3 and 5 are, 3 and 5 are integers and 5 is not equal to 0. Hence, it satisfies the conditions for a rational number and it is called as a rational number. Okay. Now, let me take another one. Minus 4 by 5. Here this is called as a negative rational number because it has the minus sign. Minus 4 and 5 are integers. Okay. You know isn't it? Minus 4 comes on the left side of the scale of the, um, of the of when you mark it on the line. It comes as a, on the left side. Okay. Now, all fractions are rational numbers. For example, I am given 0 0.5. I can write it as 5 by 10. Similarly, 0 0.333 can be written as 333 divided by 1000. So, we can represent decimal numbers also as, as rational numbers or as fractions. Therefore, all decimal numbers are rational numbers. Okay. I hope you understood this part. Now we will go to the next topic. That is equivalent rational numbers. Now let us consider a number 2 by 3. Now 2 by 3 can be written as 2 into 3 and 3 into 3 which is equals to 6 by 9. Now when I reduce 6 by 9. See, when I reduce 6 by 9, I am dividing this by 3. I get, what do I get? 2 by 3. Therefore, when I reduce 6 by 9, I get 2 by 3 again. So, 2 by 3 and 6 by 3 are the same. Hence, they are called as equivalent rational numbers. Similarly, if I multiply 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 that is I am multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 5. What do I get? 10 by 15. Therefore, 2 by 3, 6 by 9 and 10 by 15 are said to be equivalent to each other. Because now if I reduce 10 by 15, I will get as 2 by 3. I hope you got what do you mean by equivalent rational numbers. Okay, now we will go to the next part that is standard form of rational numbers. Now let us consider a rational number 15 by 12. It can be reduced to 5 by 4. So 5 by 4 is the standard form because it cannot be reduced further. So when you are given a rational number and when you cannot reduce it further, that is called as the standard form of the rational number. Similarly, let us take 40 by 50. You can strike it off and write it as 4 by 5. So, 4 by 5 is the standard form. So, to reduce the rational number to its standard form, we divide its numerator and denominator by their HCF. Okay. So, how, how can we reduce it? Say I am given a number 3 by 15. You can find the HCF of 3 and 15. Now what is the HCF of 3 and 15? It is 3 is the HCF of 3 and 15. You know how to find HCF isn't it? Hmm? So in that method you can find 3 and 15. The HCF of 3 and 15 is 3. So, if I divide 3 by 3 and 15 by 3, I get 1 by 5. So, 1 by 5 is the standard form. Similarly, for 36 and 24, let us find the L, L, uh, HCF of 36 and 24. I hope you get how to find 36 and 24. 
it goes into so you keep on dividing you'll get the answer okay hmm? so when i do 12 is the answer so 36 divided by 12 and 24 divided by 12 will give me 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is the standard form okay i hope you understood this now we'll go to the next one rational numbers between rational numbers now suppose we are given two integers 2 and 7 and are asked to find the numbers between 2 and 7 you can write it immediately what are they 3 4 5 6 are the numbers between 2 and 7 similarly if you are given two rational numbers say like minus 4 by 5 and minus 2 by 3 you have to find the rational numbers between them how can we find for that 